So this morning we're celebrating Crocktober and giving you some top recipes to uh, make simply using your crock pot, which I love that. It's so easy. Jackie Medell from the Washington Beef Commission is here. Jackie, good morning. Good morning. Happy Halloween almost. Happy almost Halloween. <laughs> but tis the season. I mean, it's yes. rainy out there. This yes. is like perfect crock oh, pot weather. And this weekend, right, like everybody yeah. is carving their pumpkins yeah. and whether you're with your friends from your neighborhood or family coming over. We did our pumpkin carving last weekend. Woohoo! We got to carve outside. Way oh. less mad. Fun, yes. Super fun. This weekend, I think, we'll be inside. Right. It's Probably a cozy weekend. Carbs. This but is the it best. It is. And we always do like a big, I make a giant vat of chili. It's our tradition. I love it. I know a lot of people do chili cook-offs. We were just talking. We were just, people get very serious about their chili. Chili yes. is like a thing, right? Yeah, like everybody's is. got their own style. So I thought I would show you guys a couple different options. What I always do with a chili is I always brown the meat mm -hmm. in like a cast, enamel cast iron skillet. Those are great. Um, or, or even just any, any kind of stovetop mm -hmm. skillet. And then I can put it into my crock pot or I can slow braise it either way even for ground beef chili so I'll show you this is just a basic basic ground beef I've browned it up with some chopped peppers super simple see Sounds all good. this dark in here yeah. I left it in I hauled in my wet or my my hot pot wiped it down so it wouldn't be wet put the beef back in when I got here this morning so that you could see this is what the color should look like when you're cooking it, whether it's chunks of roast mm -hmm. stew meat or your ground beef because this when you add this becomes all flavor. of your chili flavor. Yes. Yes. So you can add beer. You can add beef broth. Um, you know, go go with what you like. I like this one because it's got a little devil on it, and it seems oh, very Halloweeny Halloween from Elysian. So um, I'm not a big pumpkin beer fan, so that's okay. my that's my but nod that to Halloween. Right. This is just tomatoes with the chili, like the green chili oh, you can get tomatoes. Those in the can. Already easy. done up easy. Right. Keep all that that um, juice in there. You're gonna put that in. I like that. Um, the wonderful chili seasoning. Otherwise, if you're doing all your own seasoning into your chili, you got to add like five or six different kinds yeah. of spices. Generally, and most recipes. And if you want to do that, that's cool. That's not, cool yeah. too. If you're controlling your salt, skip sure. the packet. Go with your own seasoning. But otherwise, just buy the packet. Put that in. This is like chili 101, in my opinion. This is the easiest yeah. chili because this is like you could literally whip this up in 30 minutes after coming home from work, get your workout in while it simmers, and you're good to go. So this can be on the stovetop or you can toss it into your crock pot. Either one. The beans just need about... 15 to 20 minutes to come up to heat once mm. you've cooked the beef. That's the go. minimum. All right. And then you have a great meal, which you can reheat for Halloween, yes. which is coming up this week. Jackie, where can people get the recipe? Head over to um, wabeef.org and on our recipes page, we've got cooking on TV, little page there with all the recipes um, and this great green chili recipe, which I love. No I beans. I'm so a little like get to fresh it. cheese yeah. in there. And um, yeah, it's it's a very spooky Halloween-y kind of chili. It I love it. It smells fabulous. Great crock pot recipes here. Thank you so much. Again, wabeef.org. That's where you can find it. Bill, over to you.